Karl Ernst was born in Berlin in 1904, the son of a cavalryman. He attended Volksschule in Berlin Wilmersdorf and Berlin Grunewald before completing a commercial apprenticeship as an export merchant from 1918 to 1921. During this time, he became involved in the national youth movement, joining the Grossdeutscher Jugendbund and the Free Corps E. Eskadron Grunewald. Additionally, from 1920 to 1923, he was a member of the Viking League. Following his apprenticeship, Ernst worked as a commercial clerk in Berlin and Mainz until 1923. That same year, he joined the Sturmabteilung SA, the paramilitary unit of the Nazi party. After the Munich Putsch of November 1923 failed and the Nazi party was banned, Ernst remained active in various other right-wing, anti-democratic organizations. Between 1924 and 1926, he was a member of the Front Ban, a front organization of the prohibited SA. He also joined the organization Ulrich von Hutten, led by Free Corps leader Gerhard Rosbach. During these years, Ernst held various jobs in the service industry, working as a commercial clerk, bank clerk, buyer, secretary, correspondent, waiter, and bellboy in Berlin, Mainz, and Danzig. From 1927 to March 1931, Karl Ernst served on the staff of the Supreme SA leadership in Munich. After the Stennis Revolt, a revolt and subsequent purge within the Berlin SA, Ernst was appointed as the adjutant of the Berlin Gosturm in April 1931. During this time, he also became a member of the Nazi party with membership number 446,153. As adjutant, Ernst assisted Berlin commander Wolf Heinrich Graf von Heldorf in organizing and executing the anti-Semitic Kurfürstendom riot on September 12, 1931. Approximately 1,000 South Australia men attacked Jews leaving the synagogue and passers-by on the Kurfürstendom during Jewish New Year celebrations. Charges of breach of the peace were brought against Heldorf and Ernst, who initially went into hiding. They were defended by Roland Freisler and Hans Frank, and both were sentenced to six months in prison in November 1931. However, this judgment was overturned in February 1932, and Ernst was fined. From October 14 to December 14, 1931, Ernst served as the Stabsführer, staff leader, of the reorganized SA Group Berlin Brandenburg. He then became the adjutant of this SA Group on December 15, 1931 holding the post until April 1932 with the rank of S.A. Oberfuhrer. From July 1932 to March 1933, he commanded the S.A. Untergrupp Berlin Ost. Promoted to S.A. Gruppenfuhrer on March 1, 1933, Ernst succeeded Heldorf as Fuhrer of S.A. Grupp Berlin, Brandenburg on March 15. In this role, he commanded all S.A. troops in the capital area and the province of Brandenburg as the representative of the S.A. Supreme Command. This also gave him direct control over the SA field police, which were involved in persecuting opponents of the regime. Ernst was elected as a Nazi deputy to the Reichstag for Electoral Constituency 3, Potsdam 2, in the July 1932 German federal election. He was re-elected from there in November 1932 and then in March 1933 and again in November 1933, both times from Constituency 2, Berlin. On August 4, 1933, Ernst was appointed to the Prussian State Council by Prussian Minister President Hermann Göring. The Reichstag fire occurred on the night of February 27, 1933. There has been speculation that Karl Ernst, along with a small group of stormtroopers, entered the Reichstag building through a passage from the palace of the President of the Reichstag and set it on fire. Although there is some indirect evidence to support this theory, including implicating Joseph Goebbels in planning the fire and statements from individuals like Rudolf Diels and General Franz Halder, the consensus among historians is that Marinus van der Lubb was the one who actually set the Reichstag on fire. On June 30, 1934, Karl Ernst, who had recently gotten married and was on his way to honeymoon with his new wife in Tenerife, was caught up in the Night of the Long Knives. This event, orchestrated by Adolf Hitler, aimed to eliminate perceived threats to his power, particularly from within the SA, led by Ernst Röhm. Röhm's calls for a second revolution and his socialist agenda had alarmed conservative elements in the German military and government. Hitler used this opportunity to purge the SA leadership. Ernst was arrested and subjected to brutal treatment along with his wife and friend as they were about to board a Navy cruiser in Bremerhaven. He was later transferred to Bonn, where he was tortured and interrogated by an SS unit. Finally, he was flown back to Berlin and taken to the barracks of the Leibstandard Adolf Hitler, where he was executed by a firing squad on the evening of June 30. According to official records, he was one of 14 people shot on the grounds of the Leibstandard as part of the purge. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it.
Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.